Hello friends, today we will be seeing a scenario. And the scenario is if the first name and last name of the employee is changed, then workflow should be triggered to his manager. So this is the employee. And this is the first name and the last name in the personal information portlet. So when we make any changes to the first name or the last name, workflow should be triggered. The steps involved are we we'll create a workflow in manage OP and job structure first, and then we'll write a business rule in configure business rules and assign this assign the workflow here, which we had created. Last step is assign business rule in manage business configuration. So let's see how to create this. Create the workflow, we'll go to manage of pay and job structure. We are creating a workflow, so create new workflow. Name this workflow. First and last name change. We'll name it the same for this. In description we can add workflow to be triggered then first name. Or last name of employee is changed. After this, we come to the approval type. Select role. The approval role is manager. I'm keeping it as source then edit transaction as no edit skip this step relationship to approve our employee so after this we save the record so the workflow has been created here then our next step is we we'll create a business rule we'll go to configure business rules to create the business rule so we click on this plus icon here we will go to basic select basic ok name the rule as change in name rule id is the same we select the rule type so the first name and the last name comes in the personal info portlet We'll select personal information here. The base object will be the same personal information. We'll be selecting your personal information model. I will tell you why I have selected personal information model and not personal information here when we write the business one. So this is the basic information we create created. The rule type is personal information and the we have selected the parameter that is a base object as personal information model. So in if condition we will select first name, click on the plus icon. So our scenario is that the first name and the last name if it is changed 
then a workflow should trigger so here we will select first name value so to write this business the logic for this business rule we we'll select personal information model first name should not be equal to first name previous value when an employee makes any changes to the first name of the employee the system should trigger a workflow so the logic here is the first name value should not be equal to the previous value so the if the employee name is charles and somebody is adding s or any other letter to the first name it should trigger a workflow so same applies for the for last name we'll go to add add expression so here choose a logical condition to join these expressions if we select or here so in this case if the first name of the employee is changed or the last name of the employee is changed workflow should be triggered and if we select and that is the first name as well as the last name at the same time is changed then workflow should be triggered so we want that the if first name is changed workflow should be triggered or last name is changed then workflow should be triggered so i'll be selecting or here again personal information model we'll go to last name value that is a current value value means the current value the current name of the employee is not equal to last name previous value so we have written the logic now for the workflow trigger we go to then we select the output type as set so we usually use this set for the workflow trigger we we'll select here workflow we created a workflow in manage org pay and job structure so i will select the value here not the visibility or required select the value because i will assign the workflow here so i need to select value to be equal to value first name so this is the workflow select it and save third step is to assign a business rule so i'm duplicating this page go to manage business configuration created uh, the business rule in personal info so we select personal info here the first name and the last name are in this personal info make correction so to assign the business rule we go to trigger rules this trigger rules so i am selecting personal information model here then i will select on save because when the record is saved after changing the name first name or the last name the workflow should be triggered so here i will be selecting the business rule change in the name save this 
we'll go to business rules and i will explain you why i selected personal information model in the base object is we are comparing the values here previous value and the current value so uh, for comparing we select the personal information model if we select personal information we will not be able to compare the values so hence we selected personal information model now we will test the scenario wherein when we make changes to the first name and the last name of the employee workflow should trigger we go to the employee profile then in personal info portlet we'll click on create creating the record in order to make the changes i will remove the letter s from the first name and also from the last name and save this record so you can see the confirmation request that is the workflow has been triggered to the manager which we had assigned in the workflow so the approver is his supervisor that is the manager christine dolan so what i'll do is i'll submit this request so you can see here the personal information change pending approval okay so unless i approve this workflow changes will not reflect here we had removed the s from first name and the last name so we we'll duplicate this page and proxy with the manager here proxy now this will be select okay so here you can see approvals click on this view workflow participants there is only one that is manager do you approve this request yes approve you can see it has been approved so we go to become self now we will check we refresh this page so you can see here the first name had a capital letter s the last name had a small letters which is not there now so this is how when you make changes in the personal information the workflow is triggered by writing a business rule and creating a workflow so this is the end of the video thank you